Good morning and welcome to this Dawn Busters Taste Challenge. Last night we did double or Imperial India Pale Ales, had a lot of interest there, good group of people joining up, that was a lot of fun. And now we're doing a blended Scotch Whiskey Taste Challenge. And this is the parent company for John Dewars and Sons is Bacardi Limited, who is a family owned company, but they bought this. Now this bottle has a handle on the back of it. See, I'm grabbing the handle and it's 1,750 milliliters. No age statement. Okay, you can get this at a lot of stores like Walmart. They may not sell these big jug bottles, but I think they do. Matherns, Winn-Dixie, Total Wine and more. Now this, I bought at Matherns. This one is less available. I think Matherns had, well, obviously they had it. They still have it. Walmart might have it. Total Wine and More definitely has it. And this does not have a handle on the back. It's got an indention with some glass, you know, molded ribs where you can grab it, get a grip on it. It's harder to hold. This is the Dewar's 12 year age, obviously age 12 years. Both of these are produced under a royal warrant. which they brag about on their website uh, by appointment to her, her majesty queen elizabeth ii of fish scotch whiskey distillers so they're an official distiller of scotch whiskey for the royal family all right um over 500 medals and there's a barrel they're showing the barrel. What does Dewar's have? Five different distilleries, I think. It's such a big brand. They have five different distilleries and they uh, sell, of course, Dewar's Blended, so many different ones. And there's the single malts, like Aberfeldy, I think, is a single malt series that they sell on its own without the blending. All right. Anyway. that there. Now, <clears throat> I am expecting that the 12 year will, will win. And I haven't been exactly thrilled with either doers. Okay. I like the third option, which is coming up later today. I'm planning uh, the doers illegal smooth, which is an eight year aged, um, Scotch finished in illegal mezcal uh, barrels. That one has a lot of character, but these two, um, I did a solo review of Doors 12 recently. I haven't posted it yet. And I was thinking this, this isn't really the greatest thing. Um, I don't know if 12 years is helping it a whole lot, uh, but I'm not trying to be negative. It's just the way I felt about it. The Dewar's white label to me is very grain alcohol, like just uh, grain spirits. Um, and I can get that in a cheap American blended whiskey for $8 a bottle or less even in some cases. And there's no great benefit of those. They're not terrible, but then you don't, you don't look forward to drinking them either. Okay, well, we're going to be fair. Going to be fair. Going to be fair. D12, Dewar's 12 year. So it's got this foil cap cover. All right. It's got the three, three Ds hooked together. D, D, D. Dewar, 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 Daddy Dewar. And the two sons. John, John, boy, and Tommy. Okay. It's got a built-in pour, so it's going to come out fast got this thing so got to be careful it's just a twist cap plastic twist cap no cork so not getting that let's see how much I poured okay more than enough more than enough more than enough this is a not a plastic cap interestingly this is a metal cap but no cap cover just a 
metal cap. So the, the more expensive one in this case has the uh, plastic cap. More than enough, more than enough, more than enough. Um, if you check Total Wine and more, I guess the doers will run you about 35 for this handle. Uh, 1.75 liter bottle. The uh, 12 year run you about 48, I think. BC's beer reviews. Good morning, Ron. Regardless if it's bottle or can, he's going to review it. Good morning to you, BC. I'm glad y'all cleared that up in beer talk. There was a little dispute, a little misunderstanding. He was saying last night, all I have is the um, zombie dust. And Shane was saying, oh, man, that's too bad. That's all you've got? And he was, like, kidding with him, you know, like, because it's a great beer. You know, it'd be like saying, all I got is this solid gold bar, you know. And BC was taking it like, I don't need your sympathy. I don't want your sympathy. He's like, wait, 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 back up. I, I was just kidding. Um, he was actually praising him for having such a fabulous beer. I've tried that pale ale zombie dust. It's, it's, I had a 12-ounce bottle of it. It was great, great. And um, so, um, but when you're typing stuff, you know how it's like written word, it's hard to interpret the tone. Like you, you can't catch people's inflection or what they mean. So I'm always careful to try to like uh, not react to things too fast when I read it. And I have a lot of people that have reacted wrong to me over the years on social media. When it was the same thing, I'm just kidding. I'm like, I'm like, um, like Tommy. I'm just, I'm, I mean, I'm like Billy. I was just kidding with you. I haven't seen, uh, you know, I haven't seen you in six years. It's my bad. That's okay. Morning, sir. It is forecasted to be the hottest day of the year here. 94, 90% humidity, Pilsner weather. You're right, says BC. All right, yeah, it's not going to be so hot here. It's going to be up around 92, but it's, we're getting this rain in the afternoon, and it cools it down, you see. All right. So everybody's cool now. Everybody's relaxed, and it's all smoothed over. Now go home and get your shine box. <laughs> all right. Um, okay. Keep him here, Henry. This one is amber. Waves of grain. And this one is straw gold. So this was much lighter. Straw and amber. So I got to be careful not to look. But yeah, I've had some people fly off the handle like Buddy Rich, you know, when I type something that's meant to be a joke, you know, obviously. And then they're, but they're volatile. You see, it's very difficult to deal with. It's very difficult to interact with volatile people. And we know a lot of volatile people in our lives. Like any little thing, they go berserk. And, and social media seems to attract that. And like, it's like ants to sugar, you know, it's like, uh, People say, yeah, let me join Facebook because I'm kind of crazy. And I know that the Cuban spy at me through my TV. And I stole a mailbox because it was hiding secrets about me. And then they join Facebook and uh, people will say, hmm, you seem kind of crazy. That's because they are <laughs> pretty crazy. Classic line from a good, yeah. Good, good move. I've learned sarcasm doesn't work in text, says Joe Biden's down. It doesn't seem to work very well, but especially when people are volatile. So down with volatility and up with conviviality. <laughs> All right. Paranoia will destroy you. All right. Remember what President Nixon said when you hate, you destroy yourself. Okay.
Oh, Friday night. Friday night. Well, Friday afternoon, I should say, at 6.30 Eastern. So it'd be afternoon in Louisiana. We're in the central time zone. It is going to be time for Fandango Friday. Liqueurs, liqueurs, liqueurs. There are so many liqueurs. We're never going to run out. We're never going to run out. And otherwise, we wouldn't address them. See, so it gives liqueurs an opportunity to shine. It's their time to shine. And I got the party bucket. I got the 99 brand party bucket. And every Friday, I'll reach into the bucket and see what comes out. I've already gotten the whipped. It's whipped cream flavor. They don't call it cream because it's got no cream in it. It's called it whipped. And I've had the um, butterscotch and the peppermint and all the exciting flavors. And we'll see what comes this Friday. That smells like grain alcohol. Hey, that smells like unsweetened, basically unsweetened breakfast cereal in a box. You say, that sounds kind of rough. That's why I'm using that description. Oh, uh, you know what? This smells the same. Grain alcohol, kind of rough cut cereal grain, but with a little more density to it, a little more profundity to it, which means it's probably the 12-year age. Can I get it right just on the aroma? The light. And not as light. I'm gonna I'm gonna try something crazy. I'm gonna say on aroma only, I'm detecting this is the doer's regular. Oh it is. I couldn't tell at first because it is a little darker than I it's not as it is straw, but not it's a little dark. So yeah, on aroma only, on aroma only. I was able to detect the doer's 12. It's got more depth to it. The 12 years gives it more depth or uh, more character. Makes it cost more. Uh, let's see the uh, comments. And then I'm going to check the price. These are glass. They're not reading glasses. These are not reading glasses. I need to get some reading glasses. That's why I'm doing like this, because they're made for far away. You know, like if I'm driving in a car or... Uh, going for a walk, I, I have trouble seeing things far away, but up close, I don't really, but these words are small, these letters, so if I do like that, it, I can kind of like magnify it. Um, good morning, says B Aviation. Danny P says, hey guys, Nixon is portrayed as an alcoholic. I wonder what his drink of choice was. He was not an alcoholic, but he liked to drink, you know, but his enemies said that because uh, they were picking on Nixon all ever since 1948 when he uh, he uh, really gave this woman a hard time when he was running for Congress. They called her the pink lady because she had an affinity for international communist countries like the Soviet Union. We've been having Louisiana-like weather here recently. I don't know where you live, but uh, I think up north they're having some hot weather. All right, so let's look at total wine and less, I mean, total wine and more and see what their price is for do is. Now I'm gonna taste it while I'm waiting for it to upload. Total Wines is a slow load. I don't know why, it just takes forever to load up. Other website be up quick. Oh, that tastes like grain alcohol. This guy, Robert, up the street, I saw he was visiting yes yesterday. He's from Honduras. He's not a mestizo, though. He's pure Spaniard. You know, his family probably came straight from Madrid. You see, Commander Jones. Oh, that's one of those knockoffs. <laughs> but he, um, even his face would be red, you know, like ruddy, like Adam. Do doers scotch. Uh, but he was saying, oh, yes, I love doers. It's so much better than those other trifling scotches, whatever. And I was like, well, what about Valentine? He's like, oh, I don't play around with that trash, garbage, filth. Basically, very bad pejoratives. I didn't, I didn't, get, I never get angry about beverages. Believe me, I just find it comical. I was like, hmm, okay, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'll um, just try to see what people are saying about something, and I'm amused about it more than anything. And I'll just say, oh, okay. And I'll try to yeah, in my mind, I might be thinking, give me a break, but I'm saying, oh yeah. 
<laughs> even though they're like the same price point. Uh, 32.49 for the doer's handle. Oh, I was right. I said 35. So I was only uh, uh, $2.50 off. The 12-year, 48.99. I said 45. So I was $4 because 48.99. So if you buy the doer's 12, going to cost you about 49 bucks. The regular, you're going to save us uh, $16. Now, is this $16 better? Well, no, we'll see about that. Uh, the lightning is really good right now. The lighting, lighting. Oh, thank you. Well, it's daylight's coming in. Hey, Ronald says Daniel Newman. Daniel Newman does these all-nighters, man. I get on the internet at 3.30 in the morning and he'll be knocked out. I say, oh, boy, he's sleeping on the air live. I know he bought the deluxe package for StreamYard because you, you, all those hours you're eating up. He ain't doing the free package. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, it's got some sweetness, but like it's like cornflakes that's just, you know, without the sugar, the frosted flakes. It's got like a strong, kind of harsh, bad, I say like a bad bite to it. You say, what about Pete? Now, it's got a little bitty, tiny, teeny, weeny, yellow polka dot bit of peatiness, but really forget that and forget smoke because there ain't none. Um, it's kind of like, well, they got a lot of American blended whiskeys you can buy, but they're bourbon based, you see, so they're going to be a different experiential experience thing but they got some they got a bad bite to them also like i was gonna say tw samuels but that doesn't really have that um uh kentucky gold is a great example because that thing is a thing is like a dog bite gladly happily i can't find it around here not that i would ever buy it anyway but it's they're both like that grain based kind of grain alcohol if you want to say rubbing alcohol so doers won 500 medals. Oh, okay. I guess those judges are seeing something I'm not seeing. You know what I mean? Maybe they got bribed. I know. I'm just kidding. Um, I just don't see it. What I do, I, $33 for this. Why would I ever dream of paying that? When I can pay the same price and get Johnny Walker Red Label, which is so much better. And I'm honest about that. It's got a smoke character. It's got a delightful everything. Johnny Walker Red Label, to me, and I do not work for Diageo. I do not receive anything free from Diageo. Not to say that I'm turning that down either. But um, it's just so much better. The Buchanan's cost you about $3 more a bottle for the handle. Oh, no. Oh, never mind. That's the seven fifty. dollars Yeah. The little, little Buchanan is much more expensive. It's much better. I'm trying to think of things around the same price point for the handle. Uh, uh, that's the only one I can think of at this particular time. Johnny Walker, black, la uh, uh, red label. It, it's going to kill doers in the taste challenge. Get ready. You all want to see a beat down? You want to see D jump up to get beat down? It's going to get beat so bad. Now, let's go to the 12 year. Uh, Much nicer. Honey, I have my coffee with those Dawn Busters. It's like having coffee with a philosophy professor. Yeah, I'm a philosophy professor. An actual interesting one, I mean. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. I never knew I was a philosophy professor. Okay. Um, now. The man is clear in his mind, but his soul is mad. I'm not saying this is totally grain less. It's got a grain alcohol thing going. Alcohol, whatever you're supposed to say. People tease me. You say alcohol. You're from the South. I'm like, you're prejudice. You're prejudice. You're prejudice. Um, but... 
it's a lot, a lot less, it's been smoothed out over 12 yards. A lot less grain, alcohol, rough cutness, bitiness. It's got a honey thing. I'm not gonna read the description off the website because they're gonna be so elaborate. You know, they talk about all these, you know, you get on the website for these companies and I'm not saying they're lying and I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm just saying, I don't pick up all these enormous things they're talking about. You know, you get on there, it's like so many fantastic colors. Da, da, da. A whiskey wonderland, da, da, da. so many fantastic colors. And it's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm picking up like a box of cereal. If I was listening to the Grateful Dead, I'd be detecting a box of rain. But uh, anyway, it's pleasant. It's pleasant. Honey, honey top Sara Lee bread. There's a good one. Um, Less grain alcohol bite. So did the 12 year actually help this one? Yes, it did quite a bit. Now is it $16 better? Hmm. You see, y'all know what I paid for this big handle bottle. Anybody want to take a guess? <laughs> no, I'm not going to play that tournament with y'all. I'm not going to do that to y'all. It was $14.99 at Mathern's. I'm not joking. This huge bottle which is $48.99 a total wine and more was on a closeout in the discount buggy, in the discount buggy for $14.99. You say no. No, 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 no. Somebody screwed up. Somebody made a mistake. That's like 40% below cost, you know. Well, my attitude toward all of that is if I go in a grocery store and they got a price tag and it's they got three bottles and they're all tagged $14.99. Whoever did that intentionally did it. I don't know the story. Maybe they got a donation from whiskeydonators.com or whatever. Uh, I buy it. I don't say, oh, well, you know, I think you priced it wrong. Now, I'm not going to commit a fraud. If I go in a grocery store and they rang it up wrong, like this happened uh, a while back, I said, wait. It was supposed to be two for 10. Two bottles for $10. Huge bottles of Canadian blended whiskey. But she rang it up two for five, like she got confused and was working backwards. And I said, no, it's not two for five. It's not two fifty a bottle. You know, I told the girl it's two bottles for ten dollars. Oh, she said, oh, I'm sorry. So she rang it up to ten dollars. I could have gotten it for five, but that had been a theft. That's stealing. You see. Now, some people are hustlers and arch criminals, and they'll say, well. If they ring it up wrong, it's too bad for them. I got mines. Okay. Well, one day when you die and you say, oh, look, there's heaven. And they're going to say, oh, well, that's too bad for you. You got yours. It's something to think about now. We only have one soul, so. Like a priest told me one time, you only have one soul, you need to take care of it. I was thinking that's a very smart statement to make. See, so there's justice in this universe. Uh, people will say, people will say, uh, I don't believe in hell because it's not fair. I said, I said to them, no, if there was no hell, that would be unfair. That would be unjust because you think of all the horrible things people have done in the world, history, terrible things, how they abuse children and everything like that. And then they die thinking, ha, I got away with it. But the reality is it's going to be, ha, ha, no, you didn't. But you got forever to think about it, eternity to think about it. So when you were doing these terrible things and that child was crying for her mama and you thought you got away with it, now you're going to find out you didn't. See, that would be unjust, you see. See, the world is sinister and it teaches sinister things. But we know holiness teaches good things. And if there was no hell, there would be no justice in the world. And you should think about that. And that's why I've gotten into conflicts with people in the past, you know, saying, well... It was almost like, oh, the person didn't go to heaven because they didn't follow this formula, you know. 
this algorithm, they'll say, I, I go to Grace Community Church and uh, they didn't make a profession of faith or something like that. Like, you know, like they were confused, like they went to hell because they were mixed up. <laughs> uh, they, they filled out their ticket form incorrectly, like they had a golden ticket, but they didn't fill out the paperwork correctly. No, 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 no. No, that's not how it works. Sorry. You go to hell because you're evil and you like being evil and you thought you were going to get away with it. And you're saying, ha ha. But the answer is ha ha on you. Because if you listen to fools, the mob rules. OK, anyway. So we know. Justice, how just a person that loves God and wants to do right and seeks holiness. They're going to go to heaven. Because they love Jesus and they want to do right. It's not, oh, you filled out your paperwork incorrectly. All right. That's a, that's a that's a sinister doctrine. It's actually a satanic doctrine. OK, so uh, anyway, good goes one way and bad goes the other. It's as simple as that. You say, yeah, but I noticed that the, the bad road is packed with people. That's like the interstate highway and it's clipping along, man. There's no uh, <laughs> traffic held. It's right. You say, but the road to heaven is narrow. Not too many people on it. I know. I'm sorry, we're not willing that any man should perish, but people do have free will and uh, people can choose. Unfortunately, uh, people make the bad bad decisions, including me, including me. That's why we have uh, that sacrament of confession, right? Okay. Okay, so the 12 years is very nice. Red beans and rice, they're very nice. He'd order twice. I like the 12-year age. I like the 12-year age so much that I might buy it again. I don't really love it, you know. It's it's good. Whereas the regular doer's white label, uh, yeah, I don't think that's really a sipper. That's more like a mixer, and you want to mix it and make an old-fashioned or something where you can just mask it all with sugar and bitters and all kind of other confectionery exemplifications. Or you might just want to pour some Mountain Dew with it. I don't know what you want to do with it. I wouldn't buy it again. I bought it. Okay, I bought it. I bought it. I wouldn't buy it again. Would I buy the Johnny Walker Red Label again? I bought it again, and I'm glad, and I like it. And it is a, it's a mixer, obviously, but you can sip it. Doers, it's a little rough. The 12 year is, is much nicer. Is it six... Is it $16 better? Well, I'm going to let you decide. You're the consumer. You decide. Um, $16 is kind of pushing it, but I probably would pay. I, 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 In my case, I would pay the extra $16 bucks because you're getting a much better product. But in my case, I paid $14.99, which is the lowest price in the world. Like P.B. Herman said in 1981. I'm the luckiest boy in the world. I'm so much luckier than you. Do, 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 do. What about purgatory, says BC? Well, we're going to talk about that in a moment. Uh, um, let's see. I've been thinking a lot about the nature of sacrifice. Most people avoid even the smallest sacrifices to their comfort. Would you agree? Have we been become too comfortable? I think to a large extent we have, including myself. We should talk about heaven sometimes. I think we should. A lot of times, really. It's de demonstrable that life is, quote unquote, unfair. I say that from a position of someone who has, was born on third base in many ways. See, so, yeah, I agree. What about purgatory? Well, purgatory is interesting. If you watch the movie... Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, it's sort of about purgatory, that movie. Because, and it's sort of about free will and going to heaven and everything. It's like an allegory. That movie is like an allegory. I don't know if the person that made it was Catholic or a Freemason. <laughs> I shouldn't say too much. But anyway, um, so we have a very bad attitude as human beings because of original sin and concupiscence and the, the inclination to do bad, okay? So we say, oh, in my mind, we say, I've been baptized, I've been cleansed from sin. I'm a, like a newborn baby, but I got free will. And I'm like Adam and Eve. And I'll say, well, let me eat that fruit because it's not so bad. Plus I'm hungry and I'm weak and uh, the woman does look good. Oh, cha-cha. 
But then we say, oh, that was wrong, you know, stealing. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done this. Shouldn't have done that, whatever. Could be a horrible case. Shouldn't have murdered somebody, whatever. All right. We got confession. We can, if we're truly contrite, if we're truly sorry. And I don't know how many people would go to confession if they weren't really sorry. It wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. So anyway, uh, but let's say we want to do well. We want to do the right thing. want to do good. want to live well. But we do wrong. We, we slip up. It's like we're walking on the road to heaven, but we keep falling in a ditch. And we got mud, all kind of mud and grime on our clothes, on our gowns. So we get to heaven and we say, well, I'm here. I was 59 years old and I died. I didn't think I was going to die, but I was looking at my cell phone and I hit a bus. Okay. Or whatever the case. And and then at the gates, they say, well, what's, you know, you have to come in with clean clothes. Look at you covered with mud. And you say, well, I kind of, I kind of bad, you know, I kind of, I don't, I don't want to do bad, but I have a tendency to be like that. And they say, oh, you're like everybody else in the world. You say, yes. And I was, I wasn't, I was sort of a, a, a bad little person and I didn't really want to be bad. I regret it really. They say, well, we got to burn. We're going to take you to a dry cleaners, but it's going to, we got to burn off the, <laughs> we're going to burn off those bad attributes. And the Bible talks about that in first Corinthians. We're going to burn away the wood, the hay, the stubble, the thorns, the briar bushes and whatnot. But the, the, the gold, silver and precious, precious jewels, the silver, the gold, the silver and precious jewels will pass through the fire like a rabbit being uh, getting through the fire and not getting burnt. So we're going to burn away the bad, but gold, silver, and precious jewels will not burn. You say, but, but all the good things you did are not going to burn. So that's the purgatory. How long does it last? Well, when we look at eternity, time limits don't really matter. It's irrelevant. Time is irrelevant in, in an eternity. But we can pray for our, our brothers and sisters who have died. To, and those prayers can help a, a, a person uh, be relieved from purgatory. And we call those indulgences. But anyway, the theological alcohol tasting is over. <laughs> uh, and, and that. All right. Uh, red label is good. So the black and double black. I want to try the black and double black. It's no joke. I, I, my, on my to buy list is Johnny Walker black label. And the double black, which is supposed to be not just good, but really, really good. Double, really good. Sup, brother, says Dark Lotus. Oh, nothing, just closing out. So, well, it was a clear and present winner. I, I got it correct on aroma only, aroma only. And I'm very happy, and I had a feeling that could happen. So Johnny, Johnny, who's Johnny, she said, as she tried to look away. All right, doers. I don't want to do the doers. Unfortunately, I have like 70% of the bottle left. Oh, well. Oh, well. <clears throat> the doers 12. Yes, it has some positive attributes. Um, it is worth the extra 16 bucks. And if you can ever find it for $14.99 like I did, you better go buy. My friend David was like, why you didn't buy all three bottles? I was like, well, I could have, you know, $45, uh, really $44.97 for three big handle bottles of the greatest deal in the history of the planet Earth. I said, but uh, I said, well, you got yours and I got mine and let the third person get theirs. We don't have to, uh, you know, corner the market, buy everything. He didn't argue with me. Uh, OK, last comments. Then we out. I got to go walk in and I have to cut the grass. And, I, and the cat was about to bite me this morning. This wild cat. It's like half domesticated, like semi-domesticated orange with half a tail. I think the coyotes grabbed it and chopped off half its tail. We got coyotes around here. But anyway, the cat was like, mm, mm. I went out this morning to get the newspaper at 2.45. The newspaper was out in the driveway at 2.45 a.m. And as soon as I opened the door, I, hear, I said, I know who that is. That's the orange cat. I said, don't hiss at me. And the cat was like, mm, mm, starving, no food, starving. I said, well, I don't know what's going on with you. 
So I went to get the paper. He's trying to follow me. She's trying to follow me and then hissing at me as I walk forward. <laughs> so I did the paper like that. Get away. Because I was scared it was going to scratch me and bite me because it's like half wild. It wants my attention and it wants my food mainly. But it it's scared because it's wild. So it wants to bite me and scratch me. So the whole time it's like, whoosh, whoosh. I said, well, here's your water. I went and get some water. But he didn't even care about the water so much. She, I think it's a female. She wants that food. I said, all right, let me go get you a little family dollar food because I got a handful and, a, and it wouldn't even let me walk toward the bowl. It's like <sighs> it's trying to block my passage. It's so hungry. The cat was so hungry. It was trying to like grab the food out of my hand. I said, you're going to wait. And it's like, <clears throat> I said, you are a maniac. A cat, you know, they're not really very, um, they're not very well mannered. So I poured it in the bowl and it was like pushing my hand away to eat. I said, I think you had some kittens and uh, something happened to you. You went on a date. And but well, anyway, all right. Uh, Dark Lotus says. OK, so Dark Lotus up, brother. Joe Biden's denture said you've just given the best explanation of purgatory I've ever heard. Oh, thank you. And I want to I want to thank Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory for helping train me on that. Uh I'm with Catholics on confession because it's commanded in the scripture, says Dark Lotus. I disagree with purgatory being a corrective holding place because it violates the atonement of the cross. It does not violate that. No one could go to heaven before Jesus uh, sacrificed himself on the cross. Heaven was closed. People went to paradise, which was a, another realm. But the doors of heaven were open. So now people can, because it would totally cleanse, they can go to heaven. But... Uh, you see, you're assuming that people are like totally perfect after they accept Christ and and, and what we we recommend as Catholics and as and as Protestants. But that's not the case, is it? No, it's not. Because I'll probably say something flipping ugly today before today is over, and so will you. And that doesn't go. That's not a lot. There's no sin in heaven. No sin. No badness, no bad attitude, no flip attitude. My little, my chicanery is not going to be allowed. So it has to be burned away. But I think Protestants and maybe many Catholics misunderstand the whole concept of purgatory, you see. I would really like to talk about this further on a stream, says Daniel. So would I, so would I. The cup of coffee and liquor mix thingy is an old school tactic for 1970s blue collar men at work in the factories. Ha ha, says Curtis Schizo Champagne. Yes, Grace Slick, the famous singer for Jefferson Airplane and Starship. She's 81 years old now. She says, well, when I was going to Alcoholics Anonymous, she said, I really liked going to Alcoholics Anonymous because uh, you were treated like a regular person. I was a big uh, singer and everything. She said, but they treated me like a regular old drunk. And she said, I always volunteered to serve the coffee with the little, you know, the little plastic cup, paper cups, you know, where the thing folds back. And she said, I always liked serving the coffee because I could fill it half with brandy and the other half with coffee and nobody ever could tell because it was, it was all brown. So she said she always loved serving the coffee, you know, because she could fill it half brandy and coffee. And it, she said it worked out very well. Um, atonement meaning covering, sin is paid for, the believer is bought back. That's right. But, 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 but we're refined by the fire. Right. The fire, sanctification. So you're refined. Like the, it says it in Corinthians. Um, through the fire, through the but it's a good fire. You know, it cleanses you. Not. We're not talking about hell now. We're not talking about the lake of fire. That's a whole different ball game. You see, that's that's the bad. You don't want to be in that league. You never make the playoffs in that league. OK, the believer. Uh, full disclosure, I'm not a Christian, says Joe Biden's dentures. I'm sorry to hear that, but maybe you will be one day. See. There's hope. There's hope, 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 hope. Maxwell says, hello, Ron. Peace symbol in smiley face. Hello to you, Maxwell, in Russia. We have viewers all the way from Russia, people. I don't believe they are perfect. I'm a sinner still, but I'm reconciled by his sacrifice. We're all reconciled by that. This is true. Without the cross, there's no hope. Pope John Paul II said, in the end of the story, the final Bottom line is everyone must pass before the cross of Christ. You must. Okay. You can say, well, I don't believe it. Well, whether you believe it or not is irrelevant. You must. There's, there's only one truth. Jesus said, Jesus, right? Jesus said, I am the truth. 
the way, the truth, and the life. He didn't say, I am a way. See, the Freemasons believe different. But they, they're apostates of hell, so they believe that, that Jesus is a way. And then there's Gautama Buddha and Muhammad and this guy and that guy and Shirley Temple and the Three Stooges and everybody else. And all paths lead to the waterfall. But that's, that is the doctrine of the serpent in the garden. Jesus said very definitively, I am the way. Not I am a way. And that is the dichotomy. And that is the uh, eternal war between the true, the true church uh, established by Jesus and Peter being the first pope. And the, the um, doctrine of error, the doctrine of, um, well, the lie. The, the doctrine that comes from the father of lies. All right, anyway, thanks for watching this video production and Doers 12 wins rather easily. If you can get it on Aroma only, it's pretty clear cut. So thank you very much. And then we'll be back later with the uh, illegal Mescal, which is going to be a fascinating battle, I do believe. Uh, I still love my Catholic brothers and sisters. Well, we have to love everybody. We love everyone. All right. And um, like John Lennon said, I don't know if he believed it, but I, I guess he believed it. But he said, love is the answer. All right. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video production. And you know that I know that for sure.